Ooh, battle for doctor. So I'm still walking up. Here is the church. Maybe we can also take a look over there. Quite often these churches are opened and just doing a little round view here. So this building with this cool looking uh, rooftop is the town hall. I can remember I've seen somewhere photos about how it was looking uh, before. Maybe it's inside of it. I will have to check that out. So this guys is the historic center here around of the, the marketplace and you can see there are even more of these historic old buildings and here once again gang this here is the church noticing this weird statue <laughs> But anyway guys, so here, this building here must be also something important because there's also a plate with information. So let's go to it. Let's find out what it is. Ah, okay. So this guys is the new apothecary's shop. So the pharmacy back from around 1700 interesting guys and here's also some old stuff but of course not from the 18th century uh, but maybe this thing here whatever it is also interesting guys and i'm just here and here's still the church and i'm just seeing something so the this um oh, where is it here this building here this long building there, this is the old watchtower. So right now I'm even finding more stuff. So this building here, this must be also something important because I'm seeing there is, so this building here, I mean, there's also some information and, well, let's film the plate from there as well. I had to get a little bit closer here. So this is me, Maria Andrea. So what does it mean? So worked as an acknowledged healer and headed a charity hospital at the Ducal Court in Stuttgart from 1622. Yeah, very interesting, but I've actually no idea. But so don't know was it her home or was this the hospital? Maybe this has been the hospital back in these old days. Well less population so you could deal with this little building and here guys is the church I'm also going or trying to get inside of it but I'm still checking out the buildings all around here so this building I'm knowing because I had to get into that building here when my dad died to get the paperwork done so but what has it been back in the middle age is it actually still the middle age ah and here is the museum this is the hermann hesse museum guys so these young ladies very obviously are coming from here so what do we have here ah aha. so this guys has been the um, first apothecary's shop, so the first pharmacy over here in 1699. So the old apothecary's shop until 16, uh, until 1965. Very interesting, guys. And I was just figuring it out that here is even another um, fountain because there's also some. It's also another one uh, down below. So, take a look at this fountain. I will also show you the big fountain later, which is a little bit lower on this part of the marketplace. Well, big is, yeah, well, bigger 
bigger than this one. So guys, here's something interesting. Here's a little photograph. So here you can see the stairs and so this was filmed, well, just uh, when you're there and taking a photo there. So this is how it has looked like before. This is the, as you can notice at the roof, this is the the town hall, there's the fountain I was mentioning before. And here are the other buildings. So just take a look here. Now and back then. This photo was taken in 1880. Here's a plate with some names of people who died in the First World War and some graffiti painters were thinking it must be a little, must look a little bit, uh, uh, well, I don't know, <laughs> worse. Um, here, here's something, so this was also about uh, military stuff, so probably some lefties didn't like that uh, some of the old soldiers are getting we're getting an uh, owner here, so they died, and here are their names. No war is fun, guys. So you should respect it, of course. And guys, here is another plate with some information. So this is showing the church, so the church is seeming like it had a different top because it must be this one, so here you can also see this uh, old watchtower and just here there are all those stairs as you can see here because I'm just right now standing here more information about the uh, people with the names here, the soldiers. So this was happening about the. This is about the uh, soldiers fallen in the First World War between 1914 and 18 in Lothringen Land Battalion Sturmbar Karl. Well, yeah, we still have a military here, the KSK, to be more precise. So and here now, this is looking more like. You are, get, you are used uh, about uh, church, I'm thinking. But I'm trying to get inside of it. So now I'm a little bit more silent because this, guys, is the inside of the church. I've never been there. So here's the altar. What I'm absolutely loving are these um, colorful glasses. This is really artwork, guys. But there, you're also seeing where the money has been in the Middle Age. So it was at the aristocrats and of course at the cleric people. But this is really art, really beautiful guys. Here is the red cross, a uh, red cross, the wooden cross, I mean. There's the Bible, it's opened, and it's written in old German writing, which by the way has nothing to do about the Third Ridge, because the Third Ridge, so the Nazis. They did actually forbid this writing. It's really looking interesting. I'm not sure if this is gothic, but uh, this is really beautiful, guys. And 
but here you can see the hand sanitizers also made it into the churches of nowadays even if into these historic ones uh, anyway let's go further I mean this is looking amazing just it's also really really cool uh, I hoped I could get into there to go up there because there's the second floor but well it is closed so guys I'm actually alone, I could even talk louder, but yeah, I mean, this is the house of God, as it's called. Here are also some colorful glasses, well, not so easy to record. But yeah, guys, I hope you're still enjoying this trip. And I just figured out there are more of these uh, colorful glasses. Yeah, as well, guys. Absolutely artwork. And now let's go over to the other side as well. This is really pure art, guys. Pure art. This is the other one, I don't know. Let's find out more. So, interesting guys. Maybe this is also still Jesus. And here you can also see there's a little... Well, how can you call it? So, I have no light with me otherwise I would have lightened it up for my dad although I'm knowing he wasn't a church goer as well and here also some notes so it's some people are putting notes into these maybe these are used for some other buildings of the church and so it will be will be kept there forever just my guess Well, guys, now I'm leaving again. And I'm just going there through this uh, exit, bar, but also here. Yeah, so this is the thing where the uh, priest is uh, telling, calling the people and telling them everything. It's all very much of art. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. But well, now I'm leaving. So now I'm outside and here's standing something Ooh. in the year of the Christ, 1627, uh, I cannot read the rest, not easy to read guys, also the German language has been different back then than now, so if, so, if nowadays people are saying well everything is uh, getting more English in the German language well our current or well, all the former uh, German has I mean also different with the time so here's the new tower I didn't know that the tower has looked different back then so and here's also some information about this church so it's a Protestant municipal church of Peter and Paul from 1262 guys feel free to scan the QR code for more information there is some more information so there was a school building but well it's no more there than 1886 and it must have been here just uh, just there it must have been So, the church bell isn't this fancy as you can hear. And I'm trying to get to the uh, watchtower. So, here is the church, as you can hear.
and there must be the old watchtower. It's also still in the old part of the town. So guys, you can still hear it. And it's also a fantastic view from here. So you can see the town is actually in a valley. So it's going deeper, deeper as you can, uh, well, you can see it here. So the buildings here on the marketplace are there. And here, this is uh, another part of the town. So uh, this city is, by the way, in the, um, at the outer edge of the Black Forest. But in the, um, the part of uh, Württemberg, so the Swabian part. But well, guys, now let me go to the watchtower. It's going really high upwards here. But also, look at these wonderful old traditional houses. Here is the tower. So, and there's also a plate. It costs a fee to get in it. Oops! And it is closed now. Anyway, guys, so here, this is the tall one. It's the last remaining tower of the medieval town fortifications with a prison and a watchtower. Also, home of the watchman. First recorded in 1518, destroyed in 1692, reconstructed in 1706 and 07, a prison until 1948, guys. So this has been a prison. But most likely this stuff around, so I'm guessing although the, this building here, maybe, well, sometimes things can change. Now here are the, now here's the stuff uh, archived uh, of the town. So all the documents are saved there. And here, here we have another view. So most probably this, this building here beside of the watchtower has been the prison for quite a long time. And here guys, once again, Peter and Paul Church. We also have a great view from here. And the railway, by the way, guys, is running around there. So when they will build the new tunnel, it will be just underneath. So guys, I hope that you still haven't switched off and that you are still enjoying to see all the stuff and I'm just trying also to get a nice picture of me so maybe I can use it as thumbnail or together with some other thumbnails or images as my final thumbnail. <laughs>